Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Happy Monday. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, do you remember when you were first in love? Do you remember how you could just sit and talk for hours and hours on end and you want to know everything about the other person? Uh, I mean, you know, what they liked, what they didn't, and how they, you thought everything was cute that they did. You know, later on, if, after you married them, it annoys you, but yeah, at the time you thought it was really cute. Well, that's what Paul says he wants to know Jesus uh, beyond that level. Chapter 3 of Philippians, verse 10 and 11 is what we're looking at today. So listen to what he says. He says, I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and that I want to share in his sufferings, becoming like him in his death, that by any means possible I may attain the resurrection of the dead. Now, Paul says, I want to know Jesus. And we say, yay, that sounds like a great idea. And he says, I want to know Jesus and the power of his resurrection. And we go, yes. I want to know the power of the resurrection too. That is awesome. And he says, I want to share in the sufferings of Jesus. And we kind of say, what? I'm not so sure about that. And then he says, I want to be like him in his death, which means obedient to the point of death. And we're like, nope, I'm out. You see, the truth is, we don't really know Jesus, fully know Jesus, unless we know the sufferings of Jesus. Unless we're willing to suffer for him and engage in, in the sacrifices of Jesus. Uh, and, and we don't really know Jesus until we're obedient to the point of pain. Obedient to the point of saying, hey, I'm going to say yes to Jesus, even though it hurts to do so. Uh, in case you're wondering, that's one of the reasons that God asks us to be generous and tithe. Just because he knows we love money way too much. And he wants us to experience that obedience that is sacrificial. Uh, but see, it's only when we share in the sufferings of Christ and that we're obedient to the point of pain, becoming like Jesus in his death. You know, earlier in chapter 2, it says he was obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. It's not until we get to those places that we can experience the power of the resurrection. It's a package deal. And if you're trying to get part without the others, then you don't really know Jesus the way that you could and, uh, and I'm with Paul. I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of sharing in his sufferings being conformed to his death because, you know, we're saved by the grace of God. But I want to know that grace on a deeper level day in and day out. I know it's hard, but I also know it's totally worth it. So I'll say it, I said it Friday and I'll say it again today. No matter how difficult or how painful it is, choose Jesus. No matter how difficult or painful it is, I choose Jesus. I hope you will too. And if you do, that will bless you. Have a great day.